In this next example, I've created a VCL desktop application, and I'm going to use the parse provider component and another component called the backend push component. The backend push component is available for you to be able to push notification information to the parse or convey backend service and then have that show up on your device. So I'm going to use my app that I had from before, the same keys for the parse provider. And I'm going to push to my iOS phone, which you see over here uh, on the desktop. And we've got the backend push component, and it has several properties for Apple push notifications. It's got an alert sub-property, a badge sub-property, and an optional sound sub-property. For Android, there's uh, GCM, and here you can set again the message and and other and title and so on. We'll start now with uh, with iOS, and then we'll do some Android work in a little bit. So this application is very simple. It's got an edit box. It's got a spin edit, and I'm going to use the spin edit for changing the badge number, which is available for iOS applications. Then I've got a button, and the button is just going to take the text in the edit box, set the alert sub-property of, of the Apple push service, and then I'm going to take the spin edits value, convert it to a string, set store that in the badge property of APS, and then call backend push components method called push, and that's going to show up on my application. So once you've got push notifications provisioned for your device, that's a very easy process to have applications, whether they're service applications, server applications, console applications, desktop applications, uh, FireMonkey, uh, Mac OS X applications, or whatever, to push notifications through these backend as a service providers. And let's just take a look at this in action. So I'll put in the alert, hello from a VCL Windows. And let's bump the, uh, the, the badge notification number and we'll call push. It'll do a rest call over to parse and you'll see the alert show up and notice the badge number gets set to six. So this is how you can signal through your existing applications or maybe some new applications, whether they're mobile or desktop applications, uh, to your device and send a push notification to it. So here we have a C++ version for VCL. This could have been a FireMonkey desktop or OS X application, could have been a service application, a server application, using the non-visual components. This one implemented in C++. I've got my parse provider and my keys. I've got the backend push component, a button, an edit box, and a spin edit. And then the code in C++, the same, just take the text property of the edit box, put that in the Apple push service alert property, take the spin edit, convert it to a string, put that in the badge, call the push method, which will make the call through HTTPS and REST calls up to the parse service. And we'll see the result on our iPhone. Hello from C++ to parse. And there's the alert coming down on iOS, and there's the badge number of my app being changed to 11.